The first thing I remember my father saying to me was, get up. It's time to go to work. I didn't get taught how to cook. The taste, the wood heritage, it is part of North Carolina's DNA. You grew up with it. You just absorb what you see. some plus years ago cooking barbecue. It was easy enough to find really good barbecue in almost every place. It was a mom and pop's affair. My dad was a big man. He came off of one horse farm. He went to the military. Uh, he learned to drink. He learned to play cards. He learned to have fun. He learned to dance. He was the guy that had the personality. His favorite saying was, never let a customer get away. We maintain the restaurant of his today. I usually get started at 2 in the morning. Start the fire, throw a match to the wood. In between the 30 minutes or 15 minutes firing, you make pies, desserts, or whatever's necessary to be built for the restaurant. I have assembly people to put it together during lunch hour on the line. Other than that, all the food's prepared by me. When I got started cooking barbecue over wood, everybody did it this way. There's a whole different animal when you're cooking with wood than if you're cooking with something bland like gas. Like it is in Texas, they have their own flavor. Memphis has their own flavor, and they wouldn't change it. Well, I'm not about to change a hickory. It is the heritage of North Carolina. If you're not going to do it right, there's no point in getting up doing it at all. enjoy getting together cooking that pig. If there's a gathering down east, they're probably barbecuing something. It's a social affair. It's a community type food. You feel like you're kind of away from everything. Bells don't ring. It's kind of quiet. It's plain. We're not trying to impress anybody. We're just trying to serve good food. about serve that customer. I'm proud to know that I took my father's dream and made it happen for 40 years after he passed away. It's about pride of what you do, pride in, in the heritage of it. That's the reason the farmer plants a seed. That's the reason the guy gets to get up at 2 o'clock in the morning and goes to work. He's trying to achieve something he's got in his head. You gotta care, you gotta have pride in it for it to be really good. I don't think I'm doing anything special. I think I'm doing what I ought to do. <laughs>